If you remember our last episode about the fuel storage unit, we showed you the basic functionality. That being how I had it attached to the pallet, how the pump worked, where I got the pump. But after reading a lot of your comments, I was just motivated to try something else. So we got two or three changes we want to make to the fuel storage unit today. Um, and the fuel tank is empty. You can tell it's bouncing around, so it's a good time to make these changes. The first thing is, is I've got this 55 gallon drum dolly. So the dolly should make it take up less space. Second thing I complained about in the last video was this kink. Several of you said, hey, this hose is going to go bad if you don't fix it pretty quick. So what I've done on that is I've got this swivel. Also, while discussing this connection here, several people talked about how I really should put a fuel filter on this so that if in case I have any water or other impurities in here, it would be filtered out before I got to the tractor. I bought this one all together with the flange and the filter element itself. If you do choose to buy these items from Amazon, I'd appreciate it if you'd go through the links on my website. It kind of helps keep tractor time with Tim going. So we'll get started here. The first thing I want to make sure of is that we don't have any fuel left in this line. Now with my pump, you can pump backwards to empty out the line. I'm just going to use an adjustable wrench for this. Unfortunately, I'm not sure this one will work. It says it's metric, so I'm not sure this adjustable wrench will fit my English connection here, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so the first thing we've done here is put this Teflon tape, or as they used to say on the farm, Taflon tape. Put some Taflon tape on there. Okay. Now we're going to put our swivel on. Taflon applied. Okay, you want to put that thing on? So how far do you put a filter on? It's always a half to three quarter turn after the gasket contacts the base. Well, you don't want them any tighter than that because they're hard to get off. It says change filter on a semi-annual basis or whenever flow restriction occurs. Whenever flow restriction occurs. I think we'll go with that. We'll just put this tank like this. Time. Oh, it took was... forever. The pump was so slow. Okay. I'm used to holding here to try to keep the. Oh, keep the kink out. Keep the kink out. How many pumps does it take? You? I should have counted this time, but uh, if I'm below half a tank, it's sometimes 60, 70 pumps before. I wonder if now it's going to be, you know, fewer because of that kink. I'm already full. So I think removing that kink helped it pump faster. Johnny's full again. That's nice and tucked away over there. Doesn't take up near as much space, does it? No. I hope you've enjoyed this version three of our fuel storage solution. Much improvement this time. Anyway, that's our fuel storage update. Please like, subscribe, check out our website, tractortimewithtim.com. We've got a full description of our fuel storage solution and all the pieces and parts that we bought for it on there. And we'll see you next time. Tractor time with him.